Welcome back everybody to Let's Go Find Thancred! And I actually just talked to you at the end of the last episode. I did a bunch of bitching about that. So, yeah. Alfie, I'm on your side, my friend. Go ahead and have your cat girl fantasies. Everybody else does. Oh my god, he is like just so eager to get them to shut the hell up. Like, everyone, come on, come on, mission over here! Like, just everyone get their minds off it. But again, poking fun at him is never going to get old. Even if I am completely on his side in this matter. Like, what the hell is wrong with you people? Hi, we have two new friends. Hello, how are you? We have the picture. Thank you. No, 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 no. He is friend. But did he bring you knock of flesh? And was it more presentable than that stupid burlap sack we gave? Oh, he did bring Naka Flesh! Oh, what a bro! Uh, no, 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 Ravana, you fucking promised! You fucking promised! Dickhead! But to be fair, I think it doesn't know we've been here before, so... Like, as far as he's aware, he's, he's got nowhere to... to ask for immediate help, so there's that. But yeah, again, I must reiterate, mention the tattoos. Set them apart for everything to her. Maybe we'll maybe we'll talk about his hair color or something. Something. Like these people are Charlene's. They're smarter than that. So these guys are level 52, so I still gotta be careful. Not to aggro the shit out of everything, even though I'm better equipped to handle it now. I'm gonna summon my chocobo just to be sure. Oh, so you're only gonna make me attack one group? Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. I mean, it works for me, but... That was a little too simple. You would think they would make me go into the center pit, which the story does not make you go into, because it's a level 57 area. Who else could be? Thancred. It could be Thancred. We must hurry. Fucking hell, Ravana! Like, seriously? Who the hell are you? The fuck? Uh, who the hell are these people? I love how he just jumps off the cliff. He's like, what the hell? Uh, hello. Primal slaying is my job, bitches. Who the heck are you? Oh, uh, we don't even have time for introductions and we're already having Hollywood heart attack. <sighs> This day, we reclaim the reins of history. This day, we rid ourselves of the Asians forever! What happened to your beard? 
fools playing at heroes, all of you. Is this how you believe you can save your world? Oh god, that voice acting. We can and we will, Asian. You shall see. Or perhaps you will not! Yeah, you guys do realize it's only a temporary measure, right? Right? You have no white oversight, no etheric siphon, no eyes of Nidhogg. So you are the warrior of light, the savior of Eorzea. Oh, good! You already know about me! Hi! Now who are you, kindly? It's a wonder you didn't come sooner, but with the prime, Eleanor. Lost a step, have we? Uh, excuse me, bitch. I have friends to save. Shut up. Have care. The ether moves strangely around him. It would seem we share a common enemy. Mayhap you would tell us who you are. Yeah. Shall we show them? What, what, you, what, you, what, do you have business cards or something? Bitch, what the fuck? Do you not know who you're dealing with, assholes? I'm a goddamn war- Why is everyone else standing here? Uh, Obsidian Carbuncle, anybody? Dude, what the fuck? Oh my god. When did we turn into a bunch of pussies? I mean, why is she still a kicking more ass than any of us? Big Red! Oh, good timing, bro. You know, the plot kind of demands we kind of just sit here and take it like the bitches we are. Kind of not fond of that. Uh, guys, guys, mayhap we might get off our butts and do something. I mean, primal slaying is our day job. You know, we kind of killed Nidhogg. Well, sort of. I'm pretty sure we can take these assholes. Okay, we get it. Thankard's a badass. Not very sporting of you to interrupt. But so be it. Well, it wasn't really sporting of you to actually, you know, just start beating the crap out of us instead of just telling us who you were. You know, we were trying to be nice to you. Fuck you guys. Mark well our faces, warrior of light, for we are the warriors of darkness, walkers of a different path, and we shall meet again. Yeah, and hopefully the plot doesn't demand that we're a bunch of idiots, and you know, you get your comeuppance. Quick, somebody try to request her. Warriors of darkness? Really? Yeah, I'm with you on this, Kryl. Uh, hi! Thancred! Are you alright? Dude, he was the one kicking ass! We're the ones rolling on the dirt! Uh, is Jostola okay? Okay, okay, good, she's okay. Uh, guys, this is a big nath pit. We might want to get out of here. Pleasantries can wait. I'd rather not be here when the Nath arrive. Agreed? Yeah, I'm on his side. My cutscene never fully stood well with me because 
I mean, obviously, it's it's meant to give Thancred, you know, th th this big, booming, you know, re-entry into the story and everything like that. But it makes the rest of us look like fucking tools. Aw, he's being nice to Cryo. Yeah, that's kind of what they do. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I guess I can, I can forgive Kryle for, you know, not doing much because her gift probably uh, made her extremely sensitive to the, the, the Nath chattering around her. So, we'll give her a pass. Like, everyone else, no. Like, Alpha Note, like, seriously, Obsidian Carbuckle, summon that asshole more often, okay? All right, cool. All right, thank you. Where the hell have you been? Why didn't you come back to Revenant's Toll? Or tell somebody you were here. Suffice it to say, our reunion was not at all as I pictured it. Waiting until the last instant to join the fray. Tis plain you have not lost your appetite for the dramatic. My appetite for the dramatic? Have you forgotten the circumstances of our party? The heroic last stand, the tunnel filling with light, and then... Had I known you intended to use forbidden magics to deliver me to some god's forsaken wilderness, I would have thanked you in advance. Thancred. Okay, group hug? Group hug, guys? No? Okay, fine. If nothing else, you might have warned me that I would emerge from the live stream in the altogether. Well, you didn't even know you were going in there! Hi, Nutkin. Eventually, I managed to fashion knives from some obsidian I found, and set about hunting for meat and hides. Given that I'm not all that skilled in leatherworking, it's probably for the best that I met the Vath before I was reunited with you. Where did you get the goggles from? So you were the fleshling clothed in skins of whom the storyteller spoke. Um, yes. This is why we came to this pit. And you notice uh, Fankert still has the Charlene goggles on him? Yeah. Where did he get those? A description which fit me as ill as the skins themselves. Happily, I was able to trade with the Vath for garments better becoming a man of refinement. You like that term, don't you? From them, I learned of Ravana, and of the great warrior who had once laid him low. Yeah, by the way, Tyler is going to be a little bit pissed that she can't make you something now, right? And thence did you conclude that were you to track the Primal's movements, it would surely bring you into contact with the Scions once more. It seemed a reasonable assumption. I could think of no one else with your enthusiasm for slaying beastmen gods. Until now, that is. Go back to fucking Revenant's Toll! Yeah, 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 accused of regicide and all that, but, you know, you're supposed to be an expert in espionage, intelligence gathering. I'm sure it would not have taken you very long to realize we're not public enemy number one anymore. Or the fact that we never actually were. Ah, yes. The self-proclaimed warriors of darkness. It is only fitting that they stand in opposition to the Warrior of Light, I suppose. I glimpsed the leaders past, if only for a moment. They were confronting a man in black. An Asian, I think. They mentioned the word, like, Asian like three separate times in that scene, Kryl. Were you not listening? We had the same vision, too. This actually is a pretty common thing among Echo users, you know, that, you know, when we're getting a flashback, when we're all in the vicinity of each other, we all tend to get the same flashback. It's happened with us in Benfilia. It's happened with us in Zell. Yeah, yeah, this happens, okay? Maybe you're not familiar. It happens. If these warriors are capable of doing battle with Asians and Primals both, they must be possessed of powerful protection. Protection not unlike the Echo. Gee, I wonder if that's why they call themselves the Warriors of Darkness in direct opposition to the Warrior of Light. One of the things that makes us the fucking Warrior of Light and what makes us so badass is because we have the Echo. This is a pretty damn reasonable assumption here. Ugh.
you know, may maybe you might recall they all suffered Hollywood heart attacks at the same time, too. You know, maybe that's, maybe they had a flashback of our past. Maybe that's how they knew we were the Warrior of Light. Yeah, yeah, did you all miss this? Ugh. Yeah, uh, he's referring, I don't know if anyone, hopefully someone else mentioned it to his, uh, lovely eye patch, except we haven't actually addressed that yet. Inelegant. You know, Moonbrita used an axe, and she was quite proud of it. You're a little bit insulting to her memory to call it an inelegant weapon. Just saying. Yes, Kryl. Thank you. I just got done explaining this. And I mean that genuinely. Finally. Thank you. <sighs> so what do we do now? Yeah, we have Thancred back. Can can we please go call up Tataru? She's probably worried sick about us like she usually is. Yeah, except for the fact that they just tried to kick the shit out of us. Um, well, to be a little bit fair here, um, we spent a shitload of time traveling these lands, you know, climbing some all, trying to make friends with Horacevogar, then trying to build some mana cutters so we could actually go kill Nidhogg, and then immediately after we killed Nidhogg, riots broke out in the city, Sir Emmerich gets his ass arrested, we are Archbishop escapes, we gotta give chase. Yeah, there's been a lot going on, and we haven't really exactly been home to hear such rumors. Alright? So let's let's be real here. I mean, it's 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 possible that Tataru could have heard about them and didn't think anything of it. But I don't think it's entirely out of the realm of possibility that they, they because of just we've been so busy that they've just escaped our notice because we've been we've been entirely focused on a, pretty much a single mission here. You know. Uh, you were sucked in the live stream. You were also sucked in the live stream, and I just got done explaining whatever the rest of us were doing. This isn't really gross negligence on our part, as so much as we've had better things to do. Where is Kryle? There you are. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might want to fill Thancred in on everything. Oh, God. Where do we begin with this? <sighs> yeah. So, we're just going to let Kryl just, just walk through the lands by herself. Like, someone's not going to offer to escort her. I mean, she did kind of... Wow, it actually puts us back in Annex Trite. Wow, I am actually legitimately surprised by this. Holy crap. Thank you, game. That's not typical of you to do that. But, uh, considering we let her apparently by herself in the hinterlands for a while, maybe we just think she's capable enough herself of traveling through there, but I'm, I'm just surprised that nobody's offering to, uh... To escort her or anything, or wondering about her safety. It's just a minor, minor inconsequence. So as you can see, Lucy is no longer here. But it has been, timeline-wise, a little bit since we were here to begin with, so. Yeah, but often I just got done saying that, but thank you anyway. See, I don't really understand why the dragons can't just kick his ass. 
I honestly really don't. They they don't really explain this. I mean, I know they're, you know, they are vulnerable to mortal weapons like guns and swords and things like that. But considering, you know, how the Horde has been sieging on Ishgard for thousands, you know, a thousand years, I find it kind of hard to believe that they, that they, they can't lay siege to a single primal. Yeah, but often he's like, yeah, I don't give a shit, he's gone. Oh, oh, do you have an answer for me? Okay, so daddy said do what you want. So, what is your answer? Oh, thank you, Vidafnir. Okay, now we need to make sure to tell Sir Emmerich. Well, Lucia might be helping with the description as well. But, uh, that, you know, this, this, this white dragon... Do not fire at her. She is not part of the horde. It's okay. We're working on that. We're working on that, buddy. But it is rather nice that we actually see reflection upon that. That, you know, she didn't just die and we just suddenly forget about her. Even as the Scions celebrated the return of a long-lost friend, honorable men plotted to deprive them of another. Uh, Emmerich, where is your first commander? Oh my god, you all need to honorable watch where you're going! Men, to whom Sir Emmerich was no hero, but a scheming patricide. Oh. Well, shit. Honorable men who would fain wash the paving stones of foundation with the tyrant's blood. Honorable men whose knife in the dark was the spark which set the city aflame and who sang as it burned. Where do I begin with that scene? Holy crap. Number one, what is Sir Emmerich doing without bodyguards or Lucia or somebody or anybody? Especially since he knows that, yeah, um, uh, he's got a lot of pressure on him right now. Uh, he should not be by himself. Number two, why the fuck can't the three of you watch where you're going and letting someone get that close to you? Three, I wonder who that guy is, because he's obviously a patsy for somebody, because he just, like, walks in and, like, doesn't run away. Okay, if you wanted to actually kill off Sir Emmerich, there are better ways of doing that. Namely, maybe make that guy a distraction and somebody shoots him in the head from a rafter, you know, like, like in from the rafter, sniper style. But no, 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 no. And then he just, like, stares for a second, realizes he's been stabbed like he's in a fucking cartoon, and then falls over. Like, seriously? Seriously, guys, like, what the hell? And no, we're never gonna find out what happens to that little, that bastard who stabbed him in the first place. That's this gonna go completely unaddressed. Yeah. So he just gets, like, stabbed in the middle of fucking nowhere. Okay, if you want to injure Sir Imark or make an example out of him somehow, game, there are better ways to write that into the story. Like, you know, you, you, all, you all talked about, you know, it's only a matter of time before potential riots start breaking out. You know, how about in the midst of a riot, you know, somebody, you know, takes advantage and, you know, injures them and, like, and, like, plans to do that. Like, not just in the heat of the moment. Like, intentionally do that. But, you know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? We need to talk to Tataru. But, yeah, like, I, I, like, when I very first saw that scene, like, I could not take it fucking seriously. 
Uh, I technically don't know that yet because uh, I have not talked to Tataru. Not talked to, not Tataru. I'm talking to Tataru right now. I haven't talked to Alphano outside the found, oh, the uh, Aetherite Plaza yet to know that I'm needed at the congregation. And obviously the news that I'm needed at the congregation is, yeah, I'm going to get the news that Sir Amrak has been stabbed. Well, we also made friends with Lady Iceheart. Don't forget about that part. That's important. Making friends is important. And we, we revisited the, the Old Charlian colony, made friends with a bunch of gobbies, became actual citizens of Idleshire, which, by the way, Yastola, I don't believe you've been granted that right yet. But I have... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll get drunk. We'll share some silly tales. Well, yeah, some of our friends are dead, you asshole. Yay, we get to deliver Sir Emmerich the news that Fadophnia is totally gonna come to town. She didn't say when, but she's totally gonna come to town. Everything's gonna be awesome. And then we're gonna walk into the office and find out Sir Emmerich has been stabbed and everyone's gonna go, ah, fuck. That about sums it up. So yeah, obviously Tyler is not going to have any dialogue yet because obviously now we're needed at the congregation. Uh, <laughs> Hilda, Hilda, what are you doing here? Is everything okay? I mean, obviously, I know, I know everything's not okay, but word of light doesn't. Yay! Making frogs of dragons! Oh, come on, you're making it sound like he died! Yeah, is he is he is he sleeping as in rested or sleeping with the fishes? Why were you not with him? Dude, you're holed up in the office with him all the damn time. Aw oh god, more arson! What the shit, dudes? Okay, we need like an industrial sized bag of kitty litter to put all this shit out. <sighs> you know, not that I'm not glad to help, but <sighs> can you guys do anything without my help? Anything at all? I think I've more than paid for my keep here. Again, can I have some food, please? I am absolutely starving. These bunch of bunch of warriors trying to kick my ass. Uh, I'm not having a good day over here. I mean, I'm sure you guys aren't having any better of a day, but... Damn. Damn, the universe is out to get us. But that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you for watching, friends. And we'll find out what we can do about these fucking arsonists who's sitting in our new city on fire. Ugh.